welcome to wits up if you are watching this video chances are you are locked in your home trying to avoid catching the corona virus india is under full lockdown and doctors are urging us to stay alert and isolate ourselves to stop the spread of this pandemic but what is covid-19 or corona virus as everyone is calling it what are its symptoms how can we treat it Watch till the end and we will give you the toll-free helpline numbers which can assist you when needed. Corona virus explained. Corona virus refers to a group of diseases which often lead to severe respiratory problems like SARS and MERS or camel flu. But today, the term corona virus is being used to refer to a particular strain, COVID-19. COVID-19 is a disease which has resulted in a worldwide pandemic coronavirus pandemic This disease was first identified in Wuhan China in December 2019 Since then it has spread across the world with countries like China, USA, UK, Italy and Spain becoming the worst affected The World Health Organization or WHO declared it to be a pandemic on March 11, 2020. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Many countries around the world are now observing lockdowns. पूरे देश में आज रात 12 बजे से संपूर्ण देश में संपूर्ण लॉकडाउन होने जा रहा है टू एनफोर्स सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग टू स्टॉप द स्प्रेड ऑफ द डिजीज सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस और कोविड 19 सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोविड 19 आर ऑफन द सेम एज दैट ऑफ द फ्लू दे आर फीवर टायर्डनेस ड्राई कॉफ ब्रीदिंग डिफिकल्टीज सोर थ्रोट body ache in some cases diarrhea running nose and nausea however reports show that many infected people may not exhibit any symptoms so it is necessary that you get yourself tested if you come into contact with anyone exhibiting these symptoms or have been confirmed to have the disease if you experience mild respiratory problems or mild symptoms be sure to contact your doctor or the government corona virus helplines How does corona virus spread? As who says the covid-19 virus spreads primarily through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose when an infected person coughs or sneezes. <coughs> Whether the virus can survive on surfaces is still being debated, but it is best to avoid touching surfaces or items which may be exposed to such droplets. How long can the new corona virus linger on the surfaces? The short answer is that no one knows for sure. A new analysis of various other corona viruses estimating the duration of persistence was published on 11th March 2020. The analysis found that the virus can remain viable in the air for up to 3 hours, on copper for up to 4 hours, on cardboard up to 24 hours, on glass plastic and stainless steel up to 9 days depending on the temperature a higher temperature such as 30 degree celsius or 40 degree celsius may reduce the duration of corona virus existence significantly disinfectants that can kill corona virus on inanimate surfaces most epa registered common household disinfectants should be effective at disinfecting surfaces against the corona virus according to the cdc a study published in february in the journal of hospital infection concluded that disinfectants with 62 to 71% ethanol or 0.5% hydrogen peroxide or 0.1% sodium hypochlorite bleach can efficiently neutralize corona viruses within a minute Alcohol solutions containing at least 70% alcohol are also effective against the corona virus. How does corona virus affect your health? 
Doctors say that if you come into contact with droplets containing COVID-19, you are more likely to get it if you touch your face, nose and mouth. As you may know, viruses attach to host cells in the body and use it to multiply rapidly. In the case of COVID-19, the virus attaches to a common type of cell found in the lungs via an enzyme called ACE2. COVID-19 affects the lungs and may cause respiratory problems. While in most cases people report having minor to moderate respiratory problems, it may cause severe reactions in the elderly, people with pre-existing respiratory conditions, people with underlying health conditions as those with blood disorders such as sickle cell disease, chronic kidney or liver disease, endocrine disorders such as diabetes, heart diseases or lung diseases such as asthma people with autoimmune disorders or who have low immunity. The disease may also affect your gastrointestinal systems, which may lead to diarrhea. How to prevent coronavirus? Since there is no medicine for coronavirus, the best thing to do is not to panic and stop the spread of the disease. Here are a few things you must keep in mind. As who says, most people affected by the virus get better on their own. However, it is a must that you get tested if you exhibit any symptoms or come into contact with anyone who has them. Follow your doctor's orders to the T. The best way to prevent the spread of the disease is to avoid contact with others. This is the reason authorities worldwide are initiating widespread lockdowns or urging people to practice social isolation. Stay at home and avoid contact with others as much as possible and definitely avoid social gatherings or crowds. Wash your hands with soap and water and use hand sanitizers frequently. Try to maintain a distance of a minimum of 1 meter from other persons if you go out. Avoid touching your face, eyes, nose and mouth. Wash and wear clean clothes regularly. If you have to go out to get supplies, Change and have a bath as soon as you come back. You can also use antiseptic liquids while washing your clothes. Avoid touching surfaces which may be exposed to the virus, like packaging, railings, lift, walls and plastics. While FDA says there is little chance that the disease can spread via contact with groceries or packaged goods, it is good to clean the surfaces you can and wash your hands as soon as you can. Corona Medicine As of now, no vaccines or medicines exist which can treat coronavirus. However, drugs which are used to treat diseases like malaria and HIV are being tested on some patients. Anecdotal evidence suggests that the anti-malarial drug chloroquine may be effective against the strain. The Indian Council for Medical Research has suggested that hydroxychloroquine be given to healthcare professionals and laboratory personnel and their families as preventive measures. However, the ICMR has also mandated that nobody should self-medicate under any circumstances as research is still going on this topic. Should I wear a mask to avoid catching coronavirus? Many people are panic buying masks, which has led to a worldwide shortage, but do you really need them? Special masks are a must for doctors, nurses and health professionals who are at the front lines. If you are infected, your doctor will tell you whether or not to wear a mask. If you wear a mask, never wear it beyond 10 hours. If the mask gets wet, dispose or change. If you don't have a mask but want to stay careful, you can use a cotton scarf or handkerchief as a mask. Wash it in the boiling water, sterilize it with antiseptic liquid and tie it around your face after drying completely. Remember, no matter what type of mask you wear, it should cover your mouth and nose completely. What to do if you suspect you have coronavirus? If you exhibit symptoms of coronavirus or suspect that you have been exposed to the germ, you need to self-isolate and talk to a doctor immediately. There are many helplines where you can get advice from a doctor. Or, you can call your doctor or the nearest hospital and get advice from them. Also, there may be portals or online forums which allow discussions with doctors. Do your research to pick a reliable service provider. If the doctors suspect that you have coronavirus, they may ask you to get tested or prescribe you some drugs. Follow their advice. COVID-19 Public Awareness 
helplines and resources. Here are some websites that can help you get authentic information and guidelines on COVID-19. Toll Free Central Helpline India Toll Free Helpline Numbers for States of India If you've enjoyed watching this video, do like, comment and subscribe to our channel.